Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh, and in this another video, we'll look at a pose estimation app from TensorFlow Lite. So let's go ahead and open the Android Studio and uh, open the project in Android Studio. I hope you already have the prerequisites done, such as uh, getting the developer option on on your mobile phone, the USB debugging on installed android studio and downloaded the code from github if you have not already done i'll suggest watching the second video in this series so now assuming that you have everything set let's go ahead and open an existing project so if you click on that then you want to click on the examples master folder and uh, from there light folder then again examples and after this uh, we need the pose detection so let's find that folder here so pose net so here if you click on android so that's the project we want to open i've already connected my mobile phone this time so we should see it pop up here and so we'll close the tip so this sometimes could take a couple of minutes to run and once that is done uh, we should be able to uh, click on make project so that would be the build okay so the project is ready and here it says android build android gradle build sorry plugin is ready to update so i'm going to click on update and just go ahead and click update there so after that update is done here it says process two processes running so once those processes are done uh, we can now go ahead and build the app so let's do that here i'm clicking on the menu bar clicking on the build tab and then clicking on the make project tab and that should uh, build the project so here on the left hand side we can see that executing tasks and then we have the gradle build running right here in the middle and once the build run is done then we can uh, pull that on a mobile phone and run that so taking a while and this time i already have the mobile phone connected so it's already uh, recognized here now the gradle build is finished so unlike previous time this time we didn't get any errors so that's great so now let's go ahead and see how we can run this so i'll go ahead and click run so you can click go to the run tab on the menu and click run app so that's fine so after clicking run in android studio this is the message i get on my phone so I'm going to click on install anyway and proceed from there. So just say okay and I'm going to say don't send uh, and then allow. Okay, so here I'm setting up the camera and I'm doing a voiceover. So these are, I tried a couple of poses, raising the hands and uh, walking. So that seems to work really well. So it's a pretty awesome app i mean you should give it a try and let me know in the comments below what you think about this app i hope to see you all in the next video please like share and subscribe thank you